we offer our students the option to take internship as an elective subject during the second year of their study. Through the internship, we hope that our students will be able to identify the company structure and work processes. More importantly, we hope that they can also apply what they have learned at school to a real-life work situation and appraise their own performance. One day I have to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning and go to Shaco for the site visit for Ifan. Actually, when you have to wake up that early and go to a place that's so dark and something like that, it's more like and very sleepy. And yeah, you may sometimes ask for yourself, what are you doing? And yeah, but actually it's fun. they would have to critically reflect on their internship experience. So we asked them to write a reflective report as part of the assessment requirement of this subject. Before the internship begins, we would give students a set of questions to prompt their reflection on issues such as company background, job responsibilities, work processes, interaction with colleagues, as well as their own learning and performance. Today I have uh, go to the presentation of Coca-Cola. What made me impressed is that uh, besides we need to think out the idea, we need to know how to sell our idea to the client because we understanding the problem of the client is one of the most important things in communication. Yes, that's what I learned today. Few students show critical reflection in their reports. Most of the reports have been descriptive rather than reflective. They recorded what they saw, but not what they learned what they did and not what they could have done better. Also, they could not see the connection between the theories they had learned at school and their experience at the workplace. We then realized that uh, there is something that we could do to help them. More like critical part of how, how I follow myself, my skill, my personal skill, something like that, maybe have to read after the report so I know it. We developed an additional set of uh, guidelines to illustrate what we mean by critical reflection. Now I have a guideline you can, okay, more easy for writing the reflective report. Mm, reflection, I think it is something personal learning experience about your own point of view, how you how you how you treat this uh, event or this this task as your own personal uh, learning. What is your point of view? Is I think it's quite important. We extracted some good examples as well as bad examples from the past internship reports and added comments to these examples so that the student may learn the difference between um, a merely descriptive record and a truly reflective report. So this is the message why we prepare the uh, internship report writing guidelines for you. Most important part are actually the learning and critical appraisal of your own performance. So in your internship report, we'll expect you to um, finish the whole cycle, but not just uh, write down what happened and what you feel. To make sure that the student get the point, we will conduct a briefing session with them and go through the guiding questions and examples with them before the internship begins. The assessment criteria should also align with the learning outcomes especially in the context of critical reflection.
maybe it was some, a little bit about what I've done, what I've learned, but maybe more like the people I would interact with because I have spent a lot of time with them in these two months. Yeah, more than you can ever imagine. Because with too much guidance, it will limit what the student think. But without guidance, some students may not know what they need to need to write or need to observe, need to pay attention in. So keeping the balance point is the important for the guidelines in the refreshment report. Yeah.